Welcome to the tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to make the expecto patronum sound using household objects. I'll show you how to turn sounds like these into a sound like this. First off, you're going to have to watch the clip multiple times. Pay attention to subtle sounds and visuals to help guide you. A good sound designer knows that the amount of detail can take you in or out of the moment. I will divide the sound into three parts. The charge up, blast, and cast. For the charge up, I want to have a resonant sound. So naturally, I will turn to metal objects. I compare these sounds to when the light from the wand flares up. For the blast, I wanted to get a sustaining sound with a not so intense transient. For this, I dragged a coffee mug and opened a wooden door. For the cast, I wanted to add a more driving force to the spell. For this, I used a running washing machine. Finally, for the cast, I wanted to get a destroying type sound for the Dementors. I wanted to have a similar sound to the blast, but more jarring. So I decided to spin a small metal container on the same desk. Once you're happy with your recorded sounds, we can import them into our digital audio workstation or DAW. When you have all your sounds imported, we can start to layer them and begin to hear our sounds take shape. Layering involves stacking and organizing sounds by blending them with volume automation. When you're done, it might sound something like this. Expecto Patronum! We can take this a few steps further and add some audio effects to polish off our sound. We will be using a combination of pitch shift, EQ, compression, chorus, and reverb. I started off by applying a pitch shift effect to the bottle hits to make them a bit brighter. I raised the pitch by 12 octaves, but had it gradually increase by automating it. Doing small things like this can help add movement to the sound. EQ is a great way to clean up your sound and make it sound cohesive. We can cut interfering frequencies and boost others to fill out our sound. We can also use it to add movement. I will create movement by applying it on the bottle hits and washing machine sounds. Compression can be a tricky idea to grasp, but if used properly, it can greatly improve your overall sound. I can add energy as well as control the volume by setting the threshold, ratio, and attack. The threshold sets a loudness checkpoint, while the ratio sets the volume level after it passes the loudness checkpoint. For example, a 2 to 1 ratio means the sound will be half as loud after passing the threshold. After the loudness, we can turn to the attack knob to shape our transients. If the attack knob is set to 0, then the ratio will come into effect right away. The longer the attack, the longer it takes for the ratio to kick in. It is most noticeable on the impact sounds. Chorus is another great way to add a bit of sparkle to your sound. It creates a good widening effect as well as brightens up your audio. It typically comes with a frequency rate intensity, and mix knobs. We can choose a frequency rate to target. The higher the rate, the wider the sound. We can intensify the rate by making the chorus more noticeable. Finally, we can use our mix knob to glue our effect to our sound. If the mix is at 100, the chorus is in full effect. If it is at zero, then it's pretty much off. Patronum! Patronum! 
finally, we can turn to our reverb effect. This is one of my favorite effects for adding more breath to a sound and making it sound less flat. I like to think this as turning 2D sounds into 3D. I typically use a combination of a small and large reverb. Because I use two reverb sizes, I can use a small reverb to bring forward certain elements, then use the large reverb to glue the spaces together. Expecto Patronum! <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, I had fun making this video and hopefully inspired you to try making your own spell sounds. If you have any ideas for sounds you want me to create, drop a comment below. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this tutorial, and be sure to subscribe to not miss any new content.